Hello and welcome to the video tutorial part 5 brought to you by Renaissance Electronics Europe on how to use the AppliLED EZ and DALI GUI 2 for implementing DALI communications in your lighting control system. To start with, we need to program our DALI slave board with a DALI code. So for doing that, we are using the AppliLED EZ. So let's just create a new project still using the same demo based on the RL78i1A with three LED channels. Just click OK, save the project, let's call it DALI. Now let's select the DALI option from the menu. We've got also a number of, set of settings here, uh, such as uh, random address and uh, so on. We can, we can group, uh, define groups here, we can define the addresses and we can define other uh, settings such as uh, maximum, minimum levels and fade uh, time um, and, and so on. Uh, we can do that for each of the three channels of the LED. So let's just click OK for now. Click on Save again, generate the code. So now it's generating the code for uh, dialect communications protocol stack uh, and compiles with IR. Again, you can open the uh, compiled code uh, in the IR workbench and see all the DALI functions in C. Let's just click on a program for uh, programming the demo. Click on close to finish the process. So once the board is programmed with the DALI code, we can connect the system as follows. We connect the DALI master demo, which is called the lighting communications demo, uh, with the USB cable to the PC, and connect the board we've just programmed as a DALI slave uh, via simply two wires uh, to the DALI connector of the DALI master board. You can connect more uh, DALI slaves, even custom ones, if you like to the same connection just to have the DALI bus, the common bus. Uh, then we're going to launch this DALI GUI tool which allows us to control uh, the DALI network in the real time. So here is how the boards are connected. This is the DALI master board connected with the USB cable to your PC. This is the DALI connector and the DALI bus connected to the DALI slave board uh, which we've just uh, programmed using the AppliLED EZ GUI tool. So once the boards are connected and all configured, we we'll launch the DALI GUI controller, also provided by Renesis. If you go to commands, manual commands, there is a list of all the DALI uh, available commands. There are quite a few of them, 275. You can, you can broadcast them, you can send them to a group, or you can send uh, a command to an individual address. Uh, we don't need it now, so I'll just click close. To start with, once your system is configured and connected, you need to assign the addresses. So you can go direct address allocation and assign a short address to each of the nodes. But what you can also do is to, uh, to uh, allocate a random address um, using this command. So if you just click start, it will automatically allocate addresses for each of the nodes connected in the system. Now, Because I've already done that, I'm not going to do it because um, it's going to take uh, it may take a few minutes. So if you click on that plus, you can see there are three addresses of our LED channels. Remember, we have three LED channels on the demo. So the addresses have been located as 0, 1, and 2. Currently, it says not assigned, and that is because they are not related to any group. But if you right-click on any of those, you can add a group, add it to a group. Uh, for example, if I create group 1, click OK, you see group 1 and address 0 is now uh, related to group 1. Uh, ju let's just remove that and that is uh, back to, uh, to normal non-assigned groups. Uh, so as I said, you can broadcast a message, you can send a message to an individual address. Uh, in terms of the controls, um, in addition to all of the DALI commands that you had in the command menu, you have graphical, um, graphically presented basic commands here for power control. That includes um, basic commands such as on-off, uh, go to the maximum level, go to the minimum level. You can step up, step down, 
uh, you can um, move uh, the dimming uh, to, uh, to a level uh, defined by the um, number of steps here in the fade rate. Yeah, so, but for example, if you define the rate to 358 steps uh, and you click the up button, it will actually move to uh, 355 um, steps um, up. Uh, you can also define the time for the fade. Uh, uh, if you go for uh, 1.4 seconds, for example, it would gradually dim up or down depending on what you choose here uh, with this rate. Um, you can set the um, dimming reference uh, to a fixed level as well. Uh, for example, if you uh, want to go to the highest level, which is 254 here, click on direct uh, and it would automatically um, uh, go to the uh, to the uh, highest level. For example, the red light, uh, which you can see now on the board. So let's just turn it off for now. You also have the level settings, where you can set the maximum level uh, or the minimum level. Uh, so you just write the value here, click on set, and the value is set for the specific address. Uh, you have the scene settings here. There are up to 16 of them, um, as defined in the DALI um, protocol specification. Uh, you click on Save, and the scene settings are saved um, to a, a, um, an external Excel file. You can also load uh, the settings from an external file like this. Uh, once uh, the settings are configured, you click on Set uh, to store them in the memory of the microcontroller. Now, this window in the bottom, if you right-click and click on Query, you can actually read, uh, currently reading from address 2 here, you can read all, all the settings which are in memory um, now. So you've got the minimum level, the maximum level, uh, and so on. Um, <clears throat> so let, let's have a look what we actually can do here. Uh, so if we define the fade rate uh, to um, 1.4 seconds, click on set. Uh, don't forget we are working with address 2 at the moment. And if we want to go to, um, to the uh, maximum level with this rate, just click direct, and you can see the red LED is gradually uh, going up. Let's just turn it off for now. You can broadcast. Um, if you want to set 1.4 or even less than that, one second would be better. Set, uh, now you set that um, um, uh, fade rate for all of the three addresses now. Uh, go to directly to the maximum level, click on direct, and you can see all of the three channels are gradually going up with the rate defined here. Let's just turn them off. Uh, with the fade rate, uh, again, if you define the steps, let's go for the maximum number of steps, click on set. Uh, this is again for all of the three channels. Um, now click on set step up, and the um, LEDs will um, dim up with the rate, um, with the number of steps defined there. So uh, back to the scene settings, um, let's uh, try working with address zero, which is green light. Let's just double check uh, what the current um, status is. Uh, so there are some settings here already. Uh, so let's set uh, uh, the scene settings as follows. So, for example, the um, scene number zero set to uh, this value, uh, scene number two to the maximum, uh, scene number two somewhere in the middle, and number three is the minimum. Let's so click on set. Uh, now, uh, with the go to scene uh, command, you select the uh, scene number you want to, um, uh, to go to, for example, scene zero. You can see the uh, green light went a, a bit um, to the level above. Um, scene number two, um, near zero, uh, scene number one, and so on. Now, with the fade settings, you can set the fade rate again, even for the scenes. So, for example, one second, or let's have a bit more, 1.4 second. Click on set. Uh, don't forget, this is address zero only. Uh, let's go to... Uh, scene number uh, one for the maximum and you can see it's gradually going up scene number three which is the minimum it's gradually going down 
So that was pretty much it in terms of what the uh, DALI GUI tool can do in terms of uh, uh, can controlling your DALI network and um, debugging your system in real time. Uh, in the next video tutorial, number six, I'm going to show you how to design your DMX512 communications protocol using Aplilet EZ and the special DMX controller GUI tool.